This video provides an overview of VRigger's Gear Builder. The Gear Builder allows you to add your own rigging gear to the VRigger software. This video assumes that you already have a ping file, a PNG file, that contains an image of the gear item that you want to add, and that the item is on a transparent background. You can find details about removing an image's background at vrigger.com slash Photoshop. Details on sizing the image file can also be found on that page. In general, typical handheld rigging gear, like carabiners and pulleys, should be sized to 50 pixels per inch. So an image file of a carabiner that is 3 inches tall should be 150 pixels tall. And then larger items like people and tripods should be sized so they are 900 pixels tall. It's important to get the size of the image file correct because that will affect many of the items on the gear builder. Again, there's detailed information about sizing the gear at vrigger.com slash Photoshop. To add a new piece of gear to vrigger, choose gear builder on vrigger's gear toolbar, choose new in the gear builder, and then enter a name for the gear file. Although it isn't required, we suggest that you name the file similar to gear type, brand, model, details. For example, we might name a carabiner, carabiner, petzl, OK, screw lock. The new file will appear in this list of gear files. The gear builder has five pages of settings that define the gear. This video will take a quick look at the key settings on each of these pages. You can learn more about the settings on these pages by hovering your mouse over an item. For additional information, select the Pages Help button. On the General page, enter the name of the gear. If you put a portion of the name in parentheses, VRigger will automatically hide that part of the name when space is limited. These check boxes specify where the gear will appear in the gear panes that are on the left side of VRigger. The graphics page lets you specify information about the item's appearance. I'll click on the Load Main Image button and select the ping file that was created that has an image of a carabiner on a transparent background. If you size the gear to 50 pixels per inch, as previously mentioned, you should reduce the image size by 75%. If you're adding a person and you size the image 900 pixels tall, you should reduce the image size by 50%. If you're adding a tripod that was sized to 900 pixels tall, you should reduce the image by about 40%. If you select this checkbox, it'll display a measurement grid. And then you can see the height of the gear in inches or centimeters. Again, visit vrigger.com slash Photoshop. Look for the section on sizing for more information on sizing gear. Or click the Help button on the Graphics page. The Connections page lets you specify where other gear connects to your item. The connections specified on this page refer to gear connections, not rope connections. Select Add Gear Connection to add a new gear connection and then drag the connection to its desired location. In most cases, you should position the connection's crosshairs on the edge of the connection point. You can then drag the blue handle on the gear connection to rotate the connection. You want the arrow pointing toward the gear that it will connect to. This checkbox specifies whether the gear connection opens. In the case of a carabiner, we want to select this because carabiners open. But if we were adding uh, most pulleys, we would leave this unchecked because the eye on most pulleys doesn't open. This list specifies how closely the gear must be aligned to other gear before it can connect. 30 is a good value for most gear and for a carabiner. This will allow carabiners to connect when they aren't perfectly aligned but it will prevent them from connecting when they are radically out of alignment. I'll add a second connection point to this carabiner. The ropes page lets you specify how your item interacts with ropes. We want this carabiner to be able to connect to chain, webbing, and round ropes.
If we select only the webbing checkbox, we can see the orientation of the webbing relative to the gear. We can then use this list to specify the webbing's orientation. These options specify details about how the rope or webbing or chain connects to the gear. Some of these options are disabled when other options are selected. For example, if we specify that the rope should auto switch between the top and bottom points, as would happen with a carabiner, most of the other options are disabled. This dotted line shows that the rope will switch automatically between these points. Select the Help button to learn more about the other settings on the Ropes page. The Forces page contains settings that are used when V-Rigger calculates forces. You should select Is an Anchor for items that are stationary, for example, a bolt or a railing or a tree or an I-beam. You should select Can Pull or Release Rope for items like people and winches and hands. That will affect how forces are calculated. You should select Is a Knot so the item repositions and changes colors with its rope. You should select Is a Descending Device if the item should always have friction, like a Rescue 8 or a Descending Tube. You should select Is a Ratchet Device if ropes can move freely through the device in one direction but cannot move through it in the other direction. You can select the default friction, weight, and strength of the item here. Select the Help button to learn more about the settings on the Forces page. To test your gear, close the gear builder and add your item to the workspace. We usually test gear connections using the generic carabiner. If the connection doesn't position the gear where you want, return to the gear builder and move the gear connection point. When you retest the gear, make sure you delete the other gear that's on the workspace and re-add the gear to the workspace. That's because changes that you make in the gear builder only affect future gear that you add to the workspace. The changes won't affect gear that has already been added to the workspace or that is already stored in your rigging files. If your gear connects to ropes, Drop a rope on it and see if the rope behaves as it should. Those are the basic steps to creating gear in the gear builder. You want to find or create an image that's on a transparent background. You want to size the image appropriately. You want to add a new item in the gear builder. Select your image. and then set various options within the gear builder. And don't worry about making mistakes. You can always go back and tweak the item in the gear builder.